Sardosi is probably the most beautiful kind of embroidery I've ever seen in my life. The name means embroider with gold, because at the beginning it was made only with original golden thread and precious stones. But nowadays we can find several ways and techniques that help us to make our homemade version, you can say, of this beautiful embroidery. You can combine techniques as the use of stones, beads, sequins. Also another embroidery techniques such as Ari embroidering and normal stitches are used to get this beautiful mixture that gives you the Sardosi embroidering. I will show you uh, the tools and supplies you will need for this kind of embroidery. First, of course, you will need needles. There are several types of needles you can find them in the market. So they are like thin or thick or long or with a big eye or a small eye. So you can get whatever you need for your embroidery. You will need uh, golden floss. I don't like golden so much. I prefer silver, so I choose silver and red in metal floss. You will also need, uh, if you don't have an Ari, um, Ari embroidery needle, you can instead, you can just um, hooks, crochet hooks in 12 and 14 number. 14 is a perfect because it's the thinnest one, so it's perfect for this work. Also, you will need beads, a lot of beads. I have just go to your craft store and choose whatever you like. I have all these kind of beads. I also have uh, these kind of beads. So these beads are so characteristic of of Sardosi embroidery, and it's so cheap. So you can buy like one kg or something. And these kind of beads also you will need it a lot for this kind of embroidery. And you will also need I am a complete mess you will also need um, fantasy stones where are you where are you here fantasy stones like this if you want to use uh, if you want to make the the original Sardosi embroidery then you must get original precious stones and uh, real gold thread also you will need sequence applications huge sequence if you want and any material shining material that you that you want to use also you will need of course uh, embroidery floss and this thing i forgot the name to put your fabric and make your embroidery you will also need this kind of glue I showed you before and I think that's it now let's go to the process now make your design and transfer it to your fabric or draw it directly with a chalk or a color pencil in yellow or white after that put it in your embroidery hoop Take your fantasy stones and just paste it in your fabric with transparent glue and let it dry. Insert your thread on your fabric. After that insert the bead and make a simple stitch to assure it. Repeat the process as many times you want.
use the same technique to stitch long thin beads and also repeat the process depending on your design. And this exactly the same process if you want to choose bigger beads or pearls. Insert your bead or pearl in the thread and make a stitch to assure it. You can also use simple embroidery stitches and it's so easy as I'm showing you here. Just make straight stitches like this, going forward okay. and you can also use the chain stitch make a round with your embroidery floss and make a stitch inside that uh, semicircle like this, pull it and you have your chain stitch. Now I will show you how to make simple Addy embroidery stitch. Just take your floss under your fabric. Use the crochet hook on 12 number and take your thread like this. Cross the hook again and take the, the thread again and pass it across your first chain. Repeat the process and as you can see it's so easy and it looks so beautiful. You can also stitch sequence, insert your floss, and after that insert the sequin, assure it with a stitch, like this, insert your floss again. Insert the next sequin and overlap it in the first one and assure it with a stitch again. Insert two or more beads in your in your crochet hook choose the 14 number and after that pull your thread like this and slip a bead on the thread and make a simple ari chain stitch to assure the bead like this. Slip the next bead and make a chain again. Repeat the process as many times as you want. This technique I think is the most characteristic of Sardosi embroidery. Also you can use fabric applications 
just cut the shape you want and paste it in your design with uh, transparent blue not too much and decorate it with the same techniques I show you and that's it as you can see here combining all these techniques you can get a very beautiful Sardosi embroidering just use your imagination and combine all the techniques I show you to get your own and don't forget to show me, send me pictures or post a video response to this video and that's all, be happy and see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.